Welcome to another Brit TV video news bulletin. This week we're at the Gasworks Skate Park and we're here because of this mural. Two months ago, David Butterworth was one of Brinton's worst graffiti vandals. He was named and shamed on the front page of the Free Press and admitted 70 acts of vandalism across the town. Now he's cleaned up his act and this is one of his works, all legal, and he's about to embark on an art degree course at the University in Scarborough. A group of pensioners have been told, don't feed the birds, or they could face eviction or end up in court. The mainly retired residents of Bridlington's Alderson Court say upsetting letters from East Riding of Yorkshire Council telling them not to put out bread for ducks and seagulls as it's causing a nuisance are disgusting. Bridlington bouncers are piloting a new aerosol spray which links criminals with crime scenes. Several of the town's door supervisors are pioneering the use of the new spray which can be detected on suspects up to a month after being applied. The trial also has the backing of the police. Gas supply giant Centrica have bought the Caythorpe gas site between Boynton and Rudston villages for £70 million from owners Warwick Energy. The company will store gas beneath the wolds at the Caythorpe site and be operational by 2011. Youngsters were heartbroken when Yobbs shot their pet cat with an air gun. The Walton family of Cornfield Crescent returned home to find 17-year-old ginger cat Zippy bleeding from a pellet wound which had passed through its body. Thanks to prompt treatment, Zippy should recover and police are now seeking information about the culprits. The Free Press has launched a new award scheme to find local people who deserve our thanks. In conjunction with Bridlington MP Greg Knight and the Rotary Club, we want readers to nominate people, past and present, who they think deserve a pat on the back. Full details of how you can take part are in tomorrow's Free Press. Bridlington has a new mayor. Former Deputy Mayor Councillor Liam Dealtree has been elected to the post. His new deputy is fellow Town Councillor Cyril Marsberg. They will both hold office for the remaining eight months of the civic year and the appointments follow the sudden death last month of Mayor Tony Padwick. Sad news this week for Joe Longthorne fans. His concert last Sunday at the Spa was cancelled with just 24 hours to go due to ill health. There's good news for Jane McDonald fans. The former cruise ship entertainer is among forthcoming attractions and will be in concert at the Spa next February. Bridlington is celebrating success in the Yorkshire in Bloom Awards. It won the Coastal Town category and will represent the region in the Britain in Bloom Awards next year. Sewerby Hall and the town's railway station also picked up honours. The fence around Butts Close Children's Centre is getting a fresh lick of paint thanks to a community project by Waits Construction. They're the company redeveloping nearby East Riding College. It's part of the firm's commitment to put something back into the community. He was born in Bridlington, but Paul Evans has been called up to play in the Rugby World Cup for Luxembourg. He's been living there for the past three years and is set to face fellow rugby minnows Finland in a qualifying match next month. And finally, proof that Bridlington is always up for something new. A group of exiled Tibetan monks are on their way to Sewerby Hall for a concert and workshops. Founded by the first Dalai Lama in the 15th century, their colourfully dressed descendants will be entertaining with something called overtones chanting. <laughs> 